Hey, welcome. I'm Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. Welcome back. And if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe and comment. And, um, yeah, do that, please. Uh, this is a special one. This is a print song called Beautiful Strange. I've never seen the song or uh, have no idea where it's from or anything. So uh, that's exciting. And I hope you're excited, too. Uh, here we go. Prints. Obviously, it's all audio, so no visual stuff, but uh, anyway, here we go. Woo! repeat on my voice that's what we say stay here all day if you count the time you took all the blame you find the reason behind the game beautiful stay In the darkness, you must look for the way. What's so strange that only the mind can say? If it makes no mind, what color or holy day? Why this is the only game that we got to Beautiful street So before the solo starts, um, some great tones there. Uh, sounds like he's using the Strat. And for kind of those semi-overdriven tones, it's probably the Boss Blues driver. Um, he's not using the heavier distortion pedal, which I'm trying to think what that is. Is it the Fuzz? I think it's the Boss Fuzz. Or the um, heavy metal pedal or something like that. I'm going to look while we're listening to this, but here we go. <laughs> Also, just from that first couple of notes, there he is using like a chorus. And I don't know if I've heard him use that on a, a lead type tone um, in most of the stuff I've watched. So, yeah. <laughs> inside your soul if you want to know the light inside the darkness is there forever grow the sun is like a diamond inside the cold and like an embryo it grows and grows and grows This is cool. A slow blues, basically, and man, cool lyrics, kind of mysterious and all the things you'd want. Yeah. 
sounds like a little bit, a little bit of a diminished run there. That was kind of unique. Wow, there we are, Prince doing Beautiful Strange, uh, a song I'd never heard of, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you fans probably do know it, but uh, some killer guitar playing on it, some pretty high oct octane type kind of soloing for sure. I don't think I've ever heard him using like the chorus or uh, on a lead tone like that, so that's really unique. And I'm trying to, I'm looking at his pedal board, and I've seen it a bunch of times, but I'm trying to figure out where he got that heavier um, tone from. So that might be from an amp, because depending on how recent this picture is, um, I see the blues driver, but that's it for kind of like overdrive. So unless he's getting it from an amp, but I don't see a channel switcher for an amp. So... This might be kind of old, but um, anyway, uh, I know he's had like um, the metal zone and um, a fuzz pedal on there before. But anyway, a really, really unique uh, sound and solo for him as far as the the tonality. I'm, OK, so this is what I'm, I was trying to find. Um, It's really hard to read if it's from a certain year, but um, he definitely he has the turbo distortion, which I think that's what he uses on a lot of the things that I've watched. And the, there, I would say that was the blues driver. And then he's got a lot of like zoom um, kind of rack gear. And uh, yeah, so I'm not I, I'm going to assume that was the turbo distortion or on that one. Sorry, the blues driver. And then some of that stuff where it's just like he's got the most massive guitar sound has got to be like the turbo distortion. These are all boss pedals except he's got the whammy pedal and the line six delay pedal. Um, or is that, it might, I'm forgetting what the blue one is. It's like a filter pedal or something like that. Anyway, um, and then a cool wah-wah. So I'm sure all that stuff has changed and um, I don't want to talk too much about it but i've been buying old guitar magazines guitar world guitar player the guitar world's from 94 and then this is this guitar player uh i'm oh, sorry this is guitar world from 94 and then this guitar player is from 2004 and then i have another one coming and um so i think i'll like do a video of kind of paging through it and seeing what it has to say about gear and stuff. So that might be kind of fun um, if you're into that kind of stuff. I did see another video where someone had gone to Paisley Park and bought this book called The Guitar Book. Maybe it was all boxed together or something, but I can't find it. Otherwise, I would buy it. Um, so I thought the next best thing, I could probably buy the book for the amount I paid for these magazines. But um, yeah, so look for a video about that somewhere down the road. So Anyway, I'm Brian. Thanks for joining me on this cool voyage of discovering prints again for me. And um, thanks for being here. I appreciate it.